You can set up cookie less tracking in GA4 by using storage mechanisms other than cookies. These storage mechanisms are data layers, session storage, local storage, URL parameters, server side storage, and server side tracking. By using these storage mechanisms, you can achieve as much functionality as possible without relying on cookies. You can achieve as much functionality as possible without compromising user experience, functionality, or data privacy. Use a data layer instead of a first party cookie for storing real time data. Let us suppose you want to temporarily store data before consent is granted. Let us suppose you want to store data from UTM parameters. In that case, you can use the data layer instead of the first party cookies. That way, you don't need to place any analytics cookie before the consent is granted. When a user lands on your page, you can capture the UTM parameters from the URL. Then temporarily store the UTM parameters in the data layer. Once the user consents to tracking, you can then move the data from the data layer to an analytics tool like GA4. Note, only pass necessary and lightweight data through the data layer. For large or sensitive data sets, rely on server size storage. The server size storage can handle large and sensitive data more efficiently than data layers. Use session storage for storing session specific data. Use session, use session storage for storing data that only needs to persist for the duration of a user session. The session ends when a browser tab or window is closed by a user. Session storage is a part of Web Storage API. It provides a programmatic interface for developers to interact with browser session storage mechanism. Ses session storage can replace analytics cookies for session specific data. It can replace tracking user behavior, page views, and interactions during a single session. For example, by using session storage, you can track how many pages a user views during a session. You can track how many times a user clicks a specific button during the session. You can track items added to a shopping cart using session storage. For example, each time a user adds an item to the cart, you can update the cart stored in session storage. You can retrieve the cart from session storage and display the items on the cart page. You can also remove an item from the cart and update session storage. Note, session storage is not designed for long-term tracking. If you need to achieve long-term tracking without relying on cookies, consider alternative approaches such as local storage, server-side storage, or user authentication. Use local storage for storing persistent, non-sensitive data across sessions. Local storage is a part of Web Storage API. It provides a programmatic interface for developers to interact with the browser session storage mechanism. Local storage can replace analytics persistent cookies for storing non-sensitive, persistent data that needs to remain across sessions and page loads. For example, you can use local storage to store a unique identifier for each user. This identifier helps in recognizing returning users across multiple sessions. You can store user preferences such as theme language or layout settings in local storage so that they persist across sessions. You can track the number of sessions a user has completed by incrementing a session counter in local storage. You can store and update the total number of purchases made by a user in local storage. Use URL parameters for cross-page tracking. You can use URL parameters to pass tracking data from one page to another without relying on cookies or local storage. This method is particularly useful when tracking data needs to be persistent across multiple pages. However, URL parameters are visible in the browser address bar and can be easily shared, logged, or cached. So this is something you need to keep in mind. If sensitive information like PII is included in URL parameters, it may be exposed to third parties or leaked unintentionally. 
So avoid storing sensitive data in URL parameters. If you have to store sensitive data, use anonymized values or hashed values. Use URL parameters in combination with session storage or local storage to avoid having to pass the data across every page via URLs. For example, if you capture the UTM parameters on the landing page, store them in session storage. Then you can use the UTM parameters throughout the session without exposing them in subsequent URLs. Use server-side storage for sensitive or long-term tracking. Cookies, local storage and session storage are all examples of client-side mechanism. These mechanisms are less secure and privacy-friendly than server-side storage. Server-side storage is more secure and privacy-friendly approach for handling sensitive or long-term tracking. Server-side storage refers to data stored on a web server. This data typically relates to user sessions, application state, or preferences. Server-side storage data is more secure and reliable because it is not affected by browser settings or user actions. These user actions could be like clearing cookies or switching devices. Note, cookies and server storage often work together, but server-side storage can function without cookies. Following are the key differences between data layers, session storage, local storage, and server storage in terms of their scope, persistence, and functionality. You can pause and enlarge the video to read these differences. For best results, use server-side storage along with data layers, session storage, local storage, and URL parameters. Each method complements the others by handling different types of data with various levels of security and persistence, ensuring both user privacy and website functionality. By relying on data layers, session storage, local storage, URL parameters, and server-side storage, you can achieve the same functionality traditionally handled by first-party analytics cookies without compromising user experience, functionality, or data privacy. Use server-side tracking. GA4 server-side tracking is another cookiness tracking method in GA4. Server-side tracking allows you to send tracking data directly from your server to GA4, bypassing the need to rely on client-side cookies for user identification and behavior tracking. Server-side tracking allows you to overcome ad blockers, cookie consent issues, and browser restrictions such as ITP in Safari or ETP in Firefox, which can block or limit traditional cookie-based tracking. Since data is processed server-side, you have more control over what data is collected, how it is anonymized, and when it is sent to GA4. So these are some of the methods that you can use to set up cookie-less tracking in GA4.